Hello there. Welcome to Ansys Artistry. I'm so glad to have you here. If you haven't subscribed, please do consider subscribing. It's a great way to support my channel. And please do share this video if you like how it turns out. So for today's video, I have a canvas size 16 by 20. It's going to be a split base and a double Dutch pour. I think that's what I want to name this technique. <laughs> I made a painting with reds, oranges and yellow and made it look more like fire. So I want to recreate this on this canvas with similar colors on a black base. In addition to this, I also want to create something like this more like ice and water on a white base. So I want the new painting to be half ice and water and the other half to be um, fire. So that is what I'm aiming for. So you can see on the canvas, I've already made few lines. So what I'm intending to do is have black in the middle and then white on both sides and have um, these paints layered where the black and white touch and have like a double dutch pour so dutch pour on on this side and then one dutch pour on this side so that's what i am aiming for let's see how it goes so i'm going to layer the black in the middle and then whites in the sides and i'll be right back my first paint that I'll be using today is Vermilion by Artist Loft. The next one is Cadmium Red Deep by Liquidex. Next time layering some 24 karat gold by deco art don't want too much of this so just a thin line the gold tends to take over all the time so I'm gonna put just a little bit of it the next one is cadmium orange hue by Liquitex Last one is brilliant yellow mixed with a little bit of white because it's a transparent color. So I think I want to blow this out first and then do the blue side. So let's, let's put a little bit of black paint to help these paints flow. Gotta make sure I don't drop that black on the white or drop the white on the black side. I think that's good. Okay, let's see. Okay, not too bad, just a little bit of too much black in here, but I'll take it. The only thing I didn't want is this part here. So I'm going to carefully take that white off.
just add a little bit of the black there. Okay. Let me play with it a little bit more. I think I'm pretty happy with this side. I'm gonna try and do the same thing on the other side with the blues now. Starting with the cobalt blue here. Followed by the light blue permanent. And then I have the Halo Blue by Artist Loft. Now the silver. And lastly, turquoise. Just a little bit of the white to help the paints move. And the black on the inside. So now I have to be really careful to not have the blue mix with the red. How am I gonna do it? I don't know. Let's figure it out. Okay, here we go. Oh, pop the bubbles. Let's go play with it a little bit more. Turned out pretty good, at least in my view. I think I might be in your view when I'm trying to do this. How do you think this turned out? In my view, pretty good. I love all these cells that are being formed. I wish there was more cells on the white side, but nonetheless, ice and fire, definitely. So now I'm gonna scrape the drips that are on the sides because I don't want this paint to move a whole lot so if I keep scraping the paint that are dripping on the side it'll help all the paint stay on the canvas instead of pulling it down so I'll come back in a few minutes maybe like five six minutes and see if there's more drips falling off scrape them again and let this canvas dry um, so now I think I'm done here. So I'll bring you down for a close up. I do have the flash on, on my camera. Here we go. This is exactly what I envisioned. A split base 
one side with fire and the other side with ice all in one so can we name this double touch pour <laughs> just kidding but look at this look at all the cells look at how the colors are blending in how much contrast is there between the black and the white and the reds and yellows and orange it turned out pretty pretty neat and on the other side same exact thing with the blues and silver look at that the silver is not overtaking as much as the deco art gold does but i don't like to use the deco art silver for some reason um doesn't feel like it blends in it it makes like blobs of paint so i gotta figure out the consistency for that maybe sometime i'll use it next time but look at this one the silver that i used here i think it's it's from Liquitex, but I will list all the paints in the description with their brands just so that you know if you want to try similar brands, similar paints and make a similar painting, you will have all the information there. So if you do like this, please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe and do tell your friends about my channel. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for being here and I hope you have a great holiday season. Thank you and see you next time. Until then, happy pouring. Bye.